here with Braden Watson at Flash Drive from Hamilton Southeastern. Uh, we're trying to get that official result there, but we're thinking finishing in the 20s today. Uh, talk us through the race. Obviously, uh, for the second year in a row, Flash Rock was very wet, very muddy. How'd it go? Um, well, for the first mile, I got out pretty well. I was up in the front pack, over around the 10, top 10 or so. And I was just trying to hang in there with uh, my teammate, Ben Wagner. And um, obviously, the Carroll, they're doing whatever they do. I had like five or six guys right there, but I got about to the two mile, and that's when it was, it was just locking up. We had three hard workouts this week. We had, Monday, we had like an interval. Wednesday we had a solid tempo and then we had like another speed day and there's just like some strides and stuff. So we really trained through this but uh, it didn't go too well for me but I'm satisfied with what happened. Uh, sure. Well I mean obviously uh, you know as we learn to talk to different teams everyone has a different philosophy from me to me. Blast yeah. Rock's a huge one, uh, a lot of competition. Definitely get to measure up to see where you're at. It sounds like HSC really um, really worked through this one. Um, can you talk us through why did you guys work through this race today and what's, what's the end goal? Um, well, obviously our end goal is to win a state championship. Um, I mean, that's been our goal from the start. Uh, we really, I mean, we aren't really worried about these meets too much. Like, obviously we train through it, but it's good to see us win. I mean, maybe it's a little hit to our confidence, but uh, our goals don't change. We still want to win a state championship. And I'm just going to, we're just going to keep training through this. To the state meet. I mean, we got a month ahead of us in the race. Like, it's not over yet. We're too worried about it. Well, I mean, we're getting really close to that championship season time. So can you just talk us through a little bit of uh, what the training has looked like and uh, what it might look like here in the next few weeks to prepare you? So over the summer, I did. I was hovering around 60 miles a week. Nothing, nothing crazy, just getting in, trying to average like 8 to 9 a day. And then as we got closer to August and whatnot, we started picking up the workouts, doing a few inter interval sessions, mainly like longer to a mile to a K. But recently we've been cutting it down a little bit more, trying to get some speed in there. We've just been training our cardiovascular. And, <laughs> sorry, I, from here I'm not really sure. It's whatever the coach has, but we'll probably start. Um, we're still going to keep the mileage up, but come into the season we'll start backing Today, it off and then uh, uh, adjusting the workouts for a lot more speed rather than uh, like a long mile in case. Sure, so uh, just kind of see where you guys are at and then I'm sure your coach is going to adjust from there. I mean, yeah, he's, I mean, he's been coaching for a long time. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I trust everything he has to say. Absolutely. I mean, you definitely should. Always a, a great program, rich tradition. So you can talk, state championship is a goal for you guys. What do you think it's going to take from a team perspective, race perspective, at Terre Haute to get that done. What's it going to look like for you? Well, we're going to obviously Gabe. He's going to have to. He's got to be in the. He's got to win for us. He's got to get one point, and then we need to get Grant Wilson back to where he was last season, right around the 1540s, and have Grant, uh, Ben Wagner, and I all in the, right around the All-State or in the All-State position. And then we got to have a strong five, and we've got a few guys that can step up and do that. Um, obviously, Carol, they're really strong. Uh, like it's going to be tough, but. Um, I think we can do it. We're we're training we're we're training for this, and we're we're not. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going here. Just a little uh, mind boggle, but it, it's gonna take. We got to have five guy, four guys right there in the all state position and a strong fifth. We're gonna win this. Absolutely, because Carol Pack, Carol Pack is really strong. I mean, they had six guys in front of me this, today, and. It's gonna, it's gonna take a lot. Sure. Well, it's, you got a lot, a lot of the season left to go, and you guys are in good hands. Uh, last question. You know, I think when we talk about all these really good teams, um, recovery is pretty critical. What does recovery look like for you and the other HSC guys um, in terms of ice bath, stretching, recovery runs throughout the weekends after races? Can you talk us through just so, what that looks like at HSC? Uh, we have a we have a running store just up the street in Durant's house. Uh, a couple of HSC grads, uh, Justin Roder and Madison Roder, both went to Butler. They have they have Norma Techs and they allow us to come in. We usually come in there maybe once once a week after a hard workout. Use those. Uh, we have ice baths at our school. We don't use them too much, but uh, mainly it's rolling out with a roller and a stick, and then every once in a while we we'll use the Norma Techs. Awesome. Okay, well, hey, thanks for the time, and we definitely look forward to catching up with you and uh, seeing HSC continue to progress. Great job today. Yeah, thank you. Have